what we have here is the Boeing KC-10A extender. It's a tanker that can hold um, passengers and cargo as well as refuel other aircraft. It had, a, when it does refuel, it had a max rate of 1,100 gallons per minute. And as I'm walking up here, you can actually see the glass that the boom operator will be behind in that general area to um, conduct the refueling. The boom is stowed out in the upright position that's behind me and it has winglets out upon it. There's a good view of it. Okay, some facts. Um, gross weight was 509,000 pounds. Number of engines were three, crew of four, length of 181 feet, seven inches. Height 58 feet, one inch, wingspan 165 feet. Um, the three engines produced 52,500 pounds per engine, and there were GE CF6 50 C2 turbofans. Range was 4,400 miles with cargo, 11,500 miles without cargo. Speed uh, was 619 miles per hour for maximum. Ceiling is 42,000 feet, and another 170,000 pounds. Um, it did participate in Desert Shield, Desert Storm 1991, Operation Allied Force 1999, and also um, any op similar operations after September 11, 2001. This aircraft, tail number is 84-0185, was built in Long Beach, California, delivered with the United States Air Force, and then uh, had a subsequent, subsequent assignment to March Air Force Base. It was also assigned to March Air Force Base in September 1984. And then it was flown to March Field Air Museum in 2023 for permanent display. And it's on loan from the National Museum of the United States Air Force. So uh, sit back and look through the video and enjoy. Thank you, the Air Force guy out.